Yes! Hello! Hi there! So, magandang araw sa inyong lahat. At uh, bakit nga ba ako ay naka-squat sa floor? It's because I'm going to show you a game that I used to enjoy when I was young. And that game is called... Ta -ta -da -da! Jack Stones! Tara, samahan niyo ako. And Gen Z's, let me show you how it's done. How we had fun during our time. Um, find a flat surface. That is the most important thing because the ball bounces better. So it can be played indoor or indoors or outdoors. So first is you throw these stones on the floor. What you're going to do is after you spread the stones, throw the ball in the air and let it bounce. But you have to pick a stone one by one or by twos, threes, hanggang... Lahat na ng stone is na pick mo. Like this. Oh, by twos. By threes. Meron yung parang, I don't know the term anymore, but it's like this. One. Parang kukunin mo siya ng sampung beses. So, ayun, hindi ko na pick yung isa. It means, I am out. Anyway, my favorite part is exhibition part. And these are my favorites. So we call this Falling Star. Ayan. I know, not Falling Star around the world. <laughs> ito yung mabilisan. Oh, di ba? And ito yung Falling Star. Oh, out na naman yun. <laughs> so ayan, Falling Star. Oops. Hindi ka na. This ball is not bouncy. But anyway, that's how it is done. So, yan ang larong jackstones. So, Today my rules depend on how much So, these yeah. are made of bamboo sticks. So, I don't know how many this is, but we normally play one grip like that. Maybe a hundred, I don't know. But, yeah. So, um... A game we used to play when we were kids. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, I used to play this with my grandma and then my siblings, my cousins. And your... When we're at home. And your other friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we used to play it just on the floor or on a wide table. You put it like that and then get one. No. You do it like that. One. Sit in there. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's my turn. Then I'll pick one oh. each. Make sure you do not touch any of those because once something moved, it's the other player's turn. So you keep your stick. Here. Make sure you don't touch any. Oh my god, it's quite hard. Then you get to pick which one you think. You can get that one. That one don't know you. Let's oh, get that one. Maybe you can get this one, maybe. Uh, there you go. Don't take one, right? Maybe this one. There you go. Did it move? Oh, don't touch the table, maybe. Okay. Otherwise, they will spread out, and then you your opponent has to be vigilant. Ready? Oh, it moved. So, I just turned. Hey! So, you pick them all up again. You do it for me. You do it for me. Gather them all up. Oh, yeah. I know how to do it. 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 Grip with your one hand, and then just choose one. Point and then point. No, just point one of your finger. Just stick it like that, and hold it, and then release. Until only one is left, okay? And then take it off without touching anything. Okay, don't move the table. Otherwise, things will move. Oh, there's only one. That's free. I'll try to get. Uh-oh. Ah, no, just don't break Oh, I never know. Go up to five. Oh, my God. 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 Two. 22, so I won. Okay, give me that stick. Right. There's I another way of playing this one. What did you think was good? They are introduced the easy one. Ungoy ungoya! Just easy. You choose one. Well, like, you can play it as many, I think. Hide one. This is the hidden card. Oh no, I should not see it. The hidden card. It looks like I'm doing magic. No, I'm not. And then you distribute the card evenly to all the players.
I have these cards. I just need to open. And if you have pairs, in my case, I already have pair of ace. Pairs, you put it down, down, pair of six. That's it. The goal is to find pairs. And then, so once everyone is ready, you, to your left or right, you pick some, uh, someone will pick something from here. Her, his turn, my brother's turn. And if he has this pair, he can put it down. So the goal of the game is to get rid of all your cards. Because definitely, because you hit this card, this will not have a pair. The person who does not have the pair is the monkey. That's it. Um, I'm going to share to you a game that I used to play with my sisters, my friends, and my neighbors when we were young. Um, actually, I have here lots of yarn. So we just have to tie two ends of a yarn to make like this. And then, yeah, I know you already know this game. People of my age used to play this. You guys are familiar with it. Um, I don't know how to call this actually, so I had to Google it, and Google said it's called Cat's Cradle. Also, oh, shall they one? Cat's Cradle. Okay, so there you go. And then, so um, you have to have the strings here, and then middle finger with one string, and the other middle finger here. There you go. It cannot be played alone. So please, where are my friends? Come play with me. Come on, let's play. The name of this game is flames okay what is flames flames is actually a compatibility test between two people okay so what you're gonna do is write down the two names of the people the people that you want to test their compatibility so here I'm just going to use the name Kate and Jack okay Titanic okay what you're gonna do next is you have to remove the repeating letters in the first name that you can find in the second name for example letter k so k here and then jack also has a k so we have to remove the case a is also here so we're going to re re remove that and then t e there's no t and e there so after you cross out all those repeating letters you're going to count the unrepeated letters so here is one two three and four okay so you have four unrepeated letters remember you have go. four okay. from four here this is actually an acronym so you're going to find out what is the meaning of their relationship okay so you're gonna count from here one two three four five six if the number is more than six you have to count again from F so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, something like that. Okay, so here we have four here. So one, two, three, four. Letter M. So what does M mean? Actually, it M means married. Okay, so here are the meanings of the others. Um, these are alternative meanings because some people use it, some people don't. Okay, there you go. Have fun. Okay, so today we're going to play a variation of jumping rope. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, go! 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 In this jump rope game, two players hold a rope by its ends and swing it in a circle as other players jump it while chanting a rhyme. Okay. That's it and hope you're inspired to play all of our games. Bye!